source products automatically in Google Sheets using a program that I just created to do just that. And here you can see some results. This is a list of eBay products. It will work with products from any marketplace. It doesn't matter as long as you have the product titles. It can source the products. And what it does is it tries to source the products back to a list of suppliers that you provide on another sheet. This list of over 3,000 suppliers is already included. Uh, they are mostly from Rake It In, but you can then add your additional suppliers at the bottom. In fact, I'm going to add more rows here, and what you can do is you can add more suppliers at the bottom of the sheet when you're ready. Now, what I'm going to do is actually show you how it works. So what I'm going to do is actually clear the sources completely, and I'm also going to clear the product data. Now, the first thing is that you need to get a list of products. You need to get a, a list of product titles, especially. All right. You also need the product links because how are you going to know what product it is, right? If you don't have a link. So now, don't worry about how to get the list as yet. I'm going to show you that probably in another video. But right now, what I'm going to do is just copy and paste the list that I already have. Um, there are free ways to get these lists with a free Chrome extension, but I'll show you that in another video. But for now, I'm just copying and pasting the links and the titles in here from a list that I already have. All right. Now, uh, the first thing is to actually source the product. And you can source one product at a time by simply clicking on source product. When you click on source product, it will what it does is it does a web search on the product title, like a Google search, basically. And it goes through the results and it tries to find them at the suppliers that you have on this list, which there are a lot of suppliers here, right? Now, these products that I chose are mostly mainstays, so they're going to come up at Walmart. So let me show you this product, for example, which is on eBay. This is mainstays, right? Uh, poster picture frame, black. And now let's see what came up on Walmart. We're going to open it up and we see that it is the same exact product on Walmart so it's a match, it's a perfect match right so that's one example now you can go through and you can keep uh, sourcing these one by one if you wish and you can move around you don't have to do it in order but you can also automatically source everything now sometimes you're gonna get not found I actually I'm glad this happened because I want to look at this link alright now here you can see this is actually the same product but it came out not found well, why is that? It's because the title didn't have enough information. So I do want you to keep in mind that this uh, automatic sourcing, it can only work with the information that you give it. So if you give it a, a bad title, it's not going to be able to find that product back at Walmart because the title doesn't have enough data. By the way, Walmart is just one example. This works. It's going to source to lots of suppliers, as you're going to see when I do some other brands. But uh, for this example, it's sourcing back to Walmart for mainstays. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is hit source all products, and it's just going to automatically source the remaining products as long as there's a title. If there's no title here, it will just skip it. All right, it will do nothing. It'll just move to the next one. So it's going row by row. It's looking for the title, and when it finds a title, it tries to source it, and it will create links. Now I can sit and wait for it to finish, but um, since it's some of the results already came out, I might as well start looking. So I'm going to look at this one and see what this is. This is another 12 by 18. All right, when they don't have the brand name, it's a it's a bit harder, um, but sometimes you still get the result. Look at that. Even without the brand name here, we still got the product because this is 12 by 18, right? Format picture frame black, vertical horizontal poster poster art home decor. And I can clearly see that over here, that it is the same product, okay, very clearly. All right, now actually I'm going to close it because I don't want too many of these things open. And um, I'm going to close that script as well. And what I'm going to do is look at another one. Okay, I'm not going to spend too, many time looking at too, too much time looking at too many of these because I want to show you how the program actually works. But however, I do need to prove to you that it works. All right, uh, so here's the fan. Here's this fan on eBay. And look at this fan on Walmart. It's the same fan. 
All right, it found the match again. All right, the exact match at Walmart. All right, so same product on Walmart, same product on eBay. You have to compare the prices yourself. Thirty dollars on Walmart, thirty-seven dollars on eBay. You have to make that comparison um, because this is not pulling up the prices. All right, so you have to make that comparison. Okay, and you, we could keep going. Maybe I'll look at uh, one more just for the moment of this uh, storage shelf, and then we'll see it on Walmart, see if this matches, and it does match, right? Now, is it perfect? No. Um, there are times that the products will not match, but as you can see, most of the time they do match, right? Um, it's hard to put a percentage on it, but they, they often match. Okay, I'm going to look at another one on eBay. I know I didn't want to do so many of them, but I just really feel the need. I mean, I've got to prove to you in this video uh, that it actually finds matches most of the time. So the only way I can do that is I have to go through. So you can see this one also matches, right? It's the same product, okay? It's just that listing uh, has ended, okay? But it's the same product as well. So you see all these different matches, okay? Now, um... Let me kind of move on and talk about a few other things. Now, I want to really explain the not found. I kind of explained before that sometimes the titles have something to do with that. Uh, for example, this title doesn't have the brand name. The brand name of a product is a big part of the product. The brand, a lot of times, is what separates th this product from another product because we have many photo picture frames in the world right but the brand that's what really lets you know which one it is all right so basically um, what you would do here is you would just leave this uh, you could try to look for it yourself if you, if you wanted to or you could just leave it alone and just focus on the ones that actually came out so since you're doing these um, in bulk it's better just to focus on it's better just to focus on the ones that actually come out all right don't worry about the ones that didn't work all right. Now, um, the other thing is when you get when you get the results, you should really you should click on this button, stamp sources, because when you click on that button, what's going to happen is it's going to automatically take these and just uh, make them permanent. And what I mean is that uh, well, I shouldn't have pressed it so soon. I, want, I should have shown you. In fact, I'll show you now. That when you first, I'm going to cancel that. When you first source, it's using a formula, and then there's a program that is attached running behind the formula uh, to give you the results. All right? It's not going to work because I already had something in here. I have to take that out. So when you first do it, you have a formula. You don't want the formula to stay because what happens is when the formula stays, it's going to keep refreshing, and then it's going to keep redoing the search and then you're gonna get different crazy results you don't want it to keep redoing the search so you press the stamp button and what the stamp does it's just like a stamp it stamps in the link permanently the links so that now they just stay alright with no formula so that's the stamp sources okay now the other thing you want to do at this point is you want to export the results so here are the results that you got and what you want to do is click export and what it will do it will take it and copy it into this sheet so all the results let me go back here of the first of all your data that you provided and then the sources over here will be on this export sheet so this is great because now you can download it to a CSV or Excel or CSV over here or Excel right just go to file download or um, you can just copy and paste it somewhere, whatever you want. So now you may want to do another product list, another set of products. So what you're going to do is clear the product data that you already have. And you're also going to clear the sources by clicking on this button that you already have. All of this stuff is automated, making it so much more easy for you to use the system. Now I'm going to go to this product list sheet where I have a list of Amazon products. These are Samsung brand products that I just searched on Amazon and now I'm going to copy this list now there are different ways that you can get a list of products like this from Amazon 
You can use software, but there's also a free way of doing it, the Chrome extension. I'll show that in another video, not in this video. Okay, in this video, I'm just going to copy and paste the product list over here. And just like I did before, I'm going to source these products. This time, I'm going to go straight to source all right away, since I already showed you uh, both options. And I'm going to go ahead and just let it source on its own. And just leave it and let it run. Now, it is important to point out, you sometimes may get different results at different times. When I say different results, I don't mean different links. Uh, I mean there are some products that are going to say not found, but then later it's going to pull up a result. Um, sometimes, actually, if you let this sit, later on it might turn into a result. Sometimes it's going to stay at not found because there, there just isn't anything to find. So again, I kind of explained this a little bit before, but it really just depends. Uh, on the product title, as I said before, and the suppliers. All right, but basically, as you can see, most of these are going to get sourced. So let's go ahead and start looking at some of the results. Uh, go ahead and check this product. Okay, yeah, this one is ready. And here's the product on Amazon. Now, one thing you're going to notice, and let me go ahead and show you the uh, result, but the thing is, Amazon, you're sourcing from Amazon, but then you're getting a result on Amazon right um, not sourcing from Amazon you're searching on Amazon but then you're getting a result from Amazon that doesn't really make sense because we're trying to find it at another supplier so if you're doing Amazon what I suggest you do is you go to suppliers and just delete amazon.com for now delete it from the list so that when it is searching or trying to source it's not going to be looking at amazon.com all right, I don't want it to look at Amazon. All right, there's no point. I'm already on Amazon, right? We can look at this. There's an S20 Samsung, and I'll see that it looks like it's coming up on the Samsung website itself, Samsung.com. Um, all right, and in another language, okay. So this might be the S20 Galaxy. It is the same product, though. Right, so uh, it's pulling that up. Okay, I'm going to close these out. Okay, and again, this is just showing you that there are some matches here. And um, here are some kind of renewed phone here, S21 Ultra 5. Uh, and again, it's coming up on Samsung.com. Kind of slow. I'm not sure why it's coming up this way. Okay, it's coming up in, in Russian, which is what I thought. I figured that was Russian instead of English. Um, okay, now it's back in English. Okay. Right, and we can see that this is the same phone, same product. Okay, it's the same product. All right, so again, we see it's fine to matches. Now, sometimes you're going to get more sources than other times. Not every source is good, you know, but um, it just kind of depends. So let me actually look at this one. I have uh, this phone here again, and... I'm going to look, actually I'm going to check this Walmart source and see if it's the same. Yes, yeah, it's the same thing, uh, just a different color. So all I would need to do is maybe change this color, uh, select a different color here on Walmart, and it should be the same product. All right, so, so as you can see, I mean, um, it definitely works. I mean, you're definitely getting matches. Again, I'm going to say it's not perfect, but um, it and most of the time you do get matches. Keep in mind also sourcing software that can cost $80 to $100 a month. It is not perfect. I've used a bunch of different sourcing softwares that I paid for and they gave me wrong product matches all the time. So to consider the fact that this uh, there's no monthly fee for this program, no monthly fee, it's very good that it matches this accurately. All right. So here goes another, looks like a match here. If I go to this variation, it looks like I have another match, All right? And again, I'm just showing you a lot of matches because I want to prove to you that it really works. Okay, I want to prove it to you. So when you get a copy of this program, once you have it, you have it. It's a Google Sheet. Uh, there is a program attached behind it that... Um, 
actually runs and is what is able to find the products at the other online stores okay um, that program is stored on Google Cloud and it's automatically connected into your Google Sheet you don't have to do any extra steps to connect it I already have it uh, pre-installed into the Google Sheet for you sometimes I'll make updates to that program so you want to actually get the program from me properly so you'll be on my list and I can send you updates because I'm gonna have to make improvements uh, or just updates sometimes and I want to make sure that you get those updates okay so um, you know you get yourself a copy of the program and then this is an ongoing project I'm always uh, going to be developing this and working on it because I'm using it myself so I need it um, as well right since I've been doing this I've stopped using sourcing software I basically am creating my own uh, sourcing right and I want you to enjoy it as well so um, I mean this is basically how it works I mean I could go on and keep uh, looking at more matches but you basically get the idea here's another Samsung Galaxy S8 64 gigabytes unlocked phone um, and then you can see it that's on Amazon right and then you see on Samsung.com you see the same phone All right, it's exactly the same All right you can compare the prices we see three hundred thirty nine dollars on Amazon uh, and then on Samsung.com well it's out of stock they don't have the price right now you can put your email here and then you'll get a in stock alert when the phone comes back in stock right so that's basically how this works I mean I you know uh, definitely get a copy of this and start using it start using it and um, if you have any comments questions suggestions or anything contact information is there you can contact me um, you can contact me right here on the video as well you can leave comments and uh, you know definitely excited to share this with you and to have you be a part of this project this is not just something that you get and then it's over with no this is an ongoing thing once when you get a copy of this you're on my list alright and when I make updates and I improve it I'm gonna send you updates and improvements so and the beautiful thing about it is that there is no there's no monthly fee here right like you know with source of software you're paying a lot of money usually every month right so with this you might pay a purchase donation once just to get the copy and then that's it right so I mean it's it's I think it's a pretty good deal and again I'm looking to make more improvements in the future uh, one thing I have to again we'll have to talk about in another video is how to actually get a list of these products right here that's gonna be uh, another thing if you're using if you're dealing with Amazon you might have Keepa uh, Keepa can pull all of this for you or you might have other software there are free there are ways to do it for free and I can show you some ways to get the same the same list of uh, products for free so that's something I'm going to show you as well that's how you can actually get these for free alright uh, using a free Chrome extension so um, so definitely stay tuned Mr. Mark this is Excel for Sellers any comments questions or suggestions just leave them below and um, I will definitely see you around on the channel in another video